Over four days from June 11th to June 14th, we hope you all have a chance to come down and allow LaSalle to host one of the biggest parties of the year. Thursday, we open up with the Miss LaSalle beauty pageant. Uh, we actually have our reigning Miss LaSalle with us in the crowd today. I'd like to thank Haley for making it down. Um, it, right after that, um, we're going to put a we're going to put a band, a local band, on um, called Big Sexy. Since 2010, Big Sexy's been playing steadily in the Windsor Essex County area, comprised of Dave, Chris, Brian, and LaSalle's own Mr. Kevin Harris on guitar. This rocking four-piece will have the crowd singing and dancing till the sun comes up. They're going to play all night Thursday night, and then Friday, um, we'll start our program at about three o'clock. Three o'clock, we'll see Christian Vey take the stage. Christian Vey has been wowing audience since he started playing the guitar a few short years ago. Christian grew up in LaSalle and has led bands like West Palm and Red Legacy to unheard of levels of performance. Christian brings his new band to the festival and promises to bring ample doses of pride and joy into a scorching blues set most have never seen before. After that, Although the 519 band claims to hail from Windsor, their guitarist Kevin Block lives less than a half a mile away from Gilmore Park and the Strawberry Festival. They're an eight-piece R&B group that's making waves in the community with toe-tapping, head-bobbing, get-off-your-seat, and dance in the street style of music. They play a lot of classics, and the only way you'll know how they play, the only way they play is the 519 band way. You gotta love these promos, eh? All right, right after that, one of the most talked up um, up-and-coming bands in the Windsor music scene is Sierra Slave. With members from all over Essex County, lead guitarist, keyboard, and vocalist um, Dane Roberts is an impressive axeman from grade 12 at Sandwich Secondary. Dane and the band have been very busy playing gigs for the local stream magazine and recently opening for uh, fellow LaSalle Ashes of Soma. We're pleased that they've had time to come down and have a little hometown fun. After that, we have One Man Out, which is a band designed to knock your, off your feet. The, grounds, the band is committed to supplying an action-packed, full-throttle musical show. One Man Out plays the top hits from the 50s to the current 2015 chart toppers. You'll be trapped and mesmerized by the phenomenal guitar, incredible rhythms, thunderous bass, magical keyboards, and unbelievable vocals. One Man Out features LaSalle's Mike Barisi on guitar and vocalist Christine Palazzolo, whose musical pedigree speaks for itself. After that, we're going to close the night after our fireworks show with Veteran Rockers Wednesday's Engine. They're a powerhouse of musical experience. Each member has lived a former life in various parts of the Canadian musical landscape. Five years ago, they came together with the help of LaSalle native Ken Sills to form one of the Golden Horseshoe's most sought-after bands. After completing last summer's closing of the main stage at the CNE, Wednesday's Engine is looking forward to kicking off the 2015 summer season with a stop at our own LaSalle Strawberry Festival. That brings us to Saturday. Saturday, we'll start with the traditional parade down Front Road. And following that parade, crowds will quickly gather in front of the main stage to cheer on LaSalle's own guitar army from Ron McMinn's Lake LaSalle Macon Music. For over 15 years, the students of Macon Music have been wowing crowds and helping kickstart one of the greatest days of music in the Essex County summer. Directly after that, Paying Cash is a four-piece band that's mastered the unique and original sound of Johnny Cash. The lead singer and rhythm guitarist from LaSalle, Jason Turcotte, is able to make the audience feel taken back in time by mastering the lead vocals of this great legend. One of the highlights of LaSalle's recent craft beer festival was a memorable appearance by paying cash. Jake Diab, who's only been playing his uh, semi-pro for a few years, hails from LaSalle. Jake started out in something else and now finds himself as actually something more of a front man with his new self-titled band. His edgy style and energy always leaves the young crowds wanting for more. Saturday night's main event will be presented by Mix 96.7 and will start at six o'clock with a performance by Windsor, Ontario duo Georgia Rose. The haunting sounds of sandwich secondary student Addie Burroughs combined with partner Maddie Dunart bundle up years of musical experience in two small 17-year-old frames. This is the first year that their long-standing commitment to art in the park does not interfere with them and with us inviting them to the Strawberry Festival and we couldn't be happier to have them. After that, the Oches are a husband and wife duo from Chatham-Kent that have countless years of experience between them. 
When assisting in the recording of Kelly's debut record, husband Michael O.J. decided that their musical chemistry was too much to deny. So Michael and Kelly are regulars on the Toronto Blues Circuit, and for the second year in a row, Sacred Heart's favorite choir director gets to bring her magic home back to LaSalle. Saturday Night's Headliner is one of the busiest bands in Canada. Well, that's what they claim. That's what they told me. Because they made it here today. Um, touring from coast to coast as, as support acts as well as headliners. They've played extensively in Windsor, headlining shows at Caesars Windsor, as well as supporting other great acts like Want, The Wanted and Sam Roberts Band. Last year they were featured at the International Children's Games and now they'll bring their smooth jazzy soul to the LaSalle Strawberry Festival. Sunday at the festival is Family Day. The stage will be filled with many acts from the community and beyond. While children can enjoy the regular attractions at the festival, they'll get free pony rides down by the water, be able to complete a 12-foot long coloring book, and enjoy two shows by Mystic Drums. After roaming the park, gathering a crowd, this team of world percussionists will perform two shows using percussion to tell stories from all over the world. Afterwards, the audience will be invited on stage for a group lesson that they will never forget. The other key performers have been freezing audiences in their tracks for the past few years. Dream Maker's Costume and Party will be sending Disney's favorite princesses from the movie Frozen to perform. Princess Anna and Elsa will also roam, roam the park making new friends before ending up on stage for a 30-minute show that will see them perform solo and duets from Disney's most popular animated feature ever. Afterwards, there will be a meet and greet for all the little princesses in the crowd. And as you can see, Family Day will also see the greatest variety of acts on our main stage. We've got dancers, martial arts performers, and even a rock band from each of our grade schools and sandwich secondary. So when all said and done, the South Strawberry Festival will continue to offer one of the first and foremost family attractions in southwestern Ontario. Admission is still free for under 6 and over 65. We hope that you'll be able to help us spread the word that if anyone looking for fantastic entertainment needs no more than a short ride to the western end of the EC Row to the healthy, vibrant, and caring waterfront community of LaSalle, Ontario. So I'd like to once again thank everyone who came out. I'll be hanging out in the next little while with uh, some other LaSillians out in the corner here. If you have any questions or if you'd like to pick up one of our press packages. And now I need to introduce three local musicians who probably actually need no introduction at all. If love were a band, it would be the Walkervilles. The Walkervilles have figured out the recipe, the recipe for making music that touches your soul, slaps it around a bit, caresses it, and leaves it wanting more in the best way. It's no wonder that they're influenced by a genre of music that is aptly named the same, soul. Throw in heavy influences of Motown and rock, and what you've got is a unique ability to make a lover out of any fan. Made of three musicians from right here, Windsor, Ontario, Pat Robitaille, Mike Hargraves, and Stefan Svetkovic, seamlessly fit together like a sexy bow tie and perfect fitting suit. In the sweet heaven height of these songs, you'll close your eyes and pretend Robitaille singing directly to you. That Hargrave wants you home with him while he writes you a love song. And that Svetkovic is drumming his fingertips on your lower back. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Yeah, they'll push away everything for you. So enjoy the fall, and please welcome the Walkervilles. <laughs> 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 